Hi, so another question I got was, can one use Azure DevOps pipeline to deploy to non-Azure services? Short answer is yes. Hi there, my name is Dara. Let's talk about how nice Azure DevOps is. Well, I'll, I'll appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I need a notification bell so you do not miss any videos coming from me. That said, let's go dive in into why I said yes. Azure DevOps is a suite of services that lets you manage your DevOps workflow. It has services you can pick one or more from to achieve some of your goals. It has about five main services. Uh, you have the bots, which you use to manage your work items. Uh, you have your repos, which you store your coding. You have pipelines. You have artifacts and you have test plans. And this helps you generally just have your workflow in one place. But the sweet thing about Azure DevOps is you can pick just one of them depending on your use case or you can decide to pick more of it or maybe even make it your own suite of devops management service it's actually an all-in-one if you want it to be and it can be a one in all for you depending on you you can decide it now one of the cool things about azure devops is it's not only meant for deploying applications to azure you can use azure devops to deploy to aws to GCP, even on-prem service. That is how cool Azure DevOps is. You can even use it to deploy to Docker containers, Docker Hub. Uh, you can create your own private container registry. You can literally build any language, deploy it to any cloud and any platform of your choosing. As long as it can be scripted, Azure DevOps can handle it. As long as there's a connection point between Azure DevOps and that service, Azure DevOps can handle it for you. So yes, you can use Azure DevOps to deploy from Azure DevOps itself to the other cloud services. Now, the Azure DevOps Marketplace is one of the things you also want to check out. It contains extensions you can add to your Azure DevOps service to help you deploy to your target services. Now, that being answered, remember to send in your questions in the link showing on your screen now. I'll also put the link in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further videos coming from me. Enjoy and I'll be seeing you again in another video. Goodbye.